Hey guys, welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily source of cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated news on YouTube. My name is Shamari. Bang and welcome. Well, guys, all right. So, boom, we got some good stuff today. Uh, we have a herd, and, and it, it's not my words. This is the words from the story I'm going to tell you. We have a herd of institutional investors coming from Hong Kong. Hold on, boys. Look, look, look. Let me just take a quick look over here. Whoa, where'd that, that go? Let's take a quick look. Bang, while we whale watch. Oh, yeah, the tsunami. Oh, and now what? Now what they tell us? They told us we have a herd of <laughs> a herd of institutional investors coming. Boys, man, I hope you got that money right. I told you yesterday you get your money right. And, man, these guys are happening. It is happening so fast. I'm not even going to lie to you. I was waiting until the end of the month to get my crypto in because I, I mean, I know that I want to upgrade my, I want to pad my holdings, but then like I told you, and I'm going to pull the trigger. Now I'm not telling you what to buy, but I am going to tell you, I'm buying some V chain, man. I'm getting in some V chain. I'm going to grab a couple hundred of those bad boys, but man, these boys are coming fast and furious. So we have a herd, <laughs> a herd of institutional investors coming now what was it was it evans or or edwin one of you guys talked to me about the g20 bang buddy i got the g20 regulation for you today bang i got it for you uh you know like i told you i mean and like you know i don't play games i watch these politicians i watch these folk so g20 came out with some stuff today we're going to talk about the g20 of nations if you don't know the g20 of nations is those are the 20 biggest nations on earth. Boom. They they want they want regulation on our stuff and whatnot. So we're gonna talk about them. And then, bang, I have something for you guys. Honey miner. Yes. This is interesting. Remember back in the old days? Well, I guess I don't know when you guys came in, but now you can mine you can mine bitcoins on your laptop. You know what, we're around these parts, boys. We're about the cash. And yo, if there's any way to make cash, I'm gonna tell you. And bang, I'm gonna tell you this way to make cash. What I do, I have a couple old computers here. I'm just gonna put this app. So I'm gonna tell you about an app you can download. You throw it on your laptop and just keep that motherfucker running. Bang, it'll make you about a dollar or two a day. Now that ain't much, but it's something. And hey, I guess that pays for the internet that you have in your house, doesn't it? So let's go. We're going to talk about that. And then obviously we're going to get to shout outs. Oh, and airdrops. I know I haven't been doing them. Oh, guys, I was a little, like I told you, man, this weekend was rough. We had a good one. And uh, so today's, <laughs> today's recovery day too. But after tonight, like actually after I'm done this, I'm going to go have a nap. And uh, bang, I'll wake up at about four in the morning. And I'll keep rocking them. Adabob, I noticed you're awake because you're from London. So I'll probably just be hanging out with you around 4 in the morning while I get my airdrops. All right. So, guys, let's do what we usually do. You know how we do around these parts. Bang. We take a look at the market moves. Oh, and these sons of bitches. You see? <laughs> Why are you all upset, man? It's green. I know because I want more crypto. I want to buy more crypto. I don't want it to go up yet. I want to buy more crypto, but I mean, this is a news channel, so we got to report this shit right here. Look, look, uh, Shmori, man, you're a little strange, buddy. You're investing in crypto, and you're happy. You're not happy that it's going up. No, no, I'm not, because we have a bunch of whales that are coming. I want this shit to be so low, so I can buy so much that by the time the whales get here, then. My crypto warehouse will be nice. Oh, it's going to be sad. I mean, it's nice now. I'm not going to bullshit you. Check out all top 10 goods. Oh, all my goods are nice. I'm going to be a millionaire. I already know. It's not a question of if. It's a question of when. But I want to buy more. I want I want Adabob. If you're new here, we got this guy, Bob. Bob, 844-11320. Go check him out on Twitter. He'll sort you out. We got a guy, Bob, here. He's dropping air. I don't want them to come yet and buy that stuff. I don't want them to buy this stuff yet. 
Anyway, that's how it goes for me. Anyway, so here we go. Top 10. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, Yield, Stellar, Litecoin, Cardano, IOTA, and bang, Tron took over. Tron took over number 10 over Tether. Oh, oh and Monero took over the number 12 over NEO. So it's a battle. It's a battle out there. <laughs> yeah, it's a battle. All right, let's look at the market caps. I mean, not market caps. Let's look at the market moves. Boom. Oh, high single digits. Oh, and look at Tron, 13%. Man, I have shitloads of Tron. I mean, so why are you upset, dog? Because I want to buy more. I want to buy more. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to buy more. I want Tron to go down. I want to go like to one cent, motherfucks, and let me buy it. Ah, because we know what's coming. You guys know. Bang, the whales are coming. Wall Street is on the way. Wall Street is on the way. But before they get here, well, I want the opportunity to buy as much of this shit as I can. And, uh, well, here we go, boys. It looks like we already, we, we've been reading it the past few days, Coinbase. It looks like those Coinbase whales are already eaten because now we're seeing the goods. So, all right, well, let's look at our profits. Man, you sound so sad about that. I want more profits. You know, I don't mind waiting a couple months for more. But, all right, let's look at our money because it's coming in. All you guys out there, bang, you're making money today. Let's look at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're up. Oh, shit, we're all up. Oh, everything is up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All single digits up, but all up. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> the word bang. I love it now. Boom. All right, so your holdings are up. Let's look at the top 10 earners. Oh, shit. Look at that. All right. Who's the top? Mithril. Bang. 25% up. Zencash. 22% up. Oh, Bitcoin Private. 16% up. Zcash. Oh, Zcash. That's a good one there. That's one worth looking into if you want to invest. 10% up. Oh, Tron. I have mad Tron. I've got thousands of Tron. <laughs> but I want more, so I want them to go down. But anyway, 13% up. Looks like my holdings are nice. And then we got Made Safe Coin, Cryptonex, Emmercoin, Monero, and Bitcoin Cash running out of our rounding out our top 10 earners. Now, boys, boom. Look at this. Boom. A herd. So we already read about this yesterday. Remember the uh the uh, the Hong Kong guys, we read about this yesterday, but I just wanted to bring it up again because now this guy's talking about a herd. <laughs> He's talking about a herd of institutional investors. You know what I mean? So that's what I like to hear. And so let's have some good news, motherfuckers. Let's go. So a Hong Kong-based investment firm is planning to launch a new crypto custody. Bang. What do we need? You know what we need. What's our favorite word? I know you hate it. Shamari, man, why are you always going to say it? Fuck you guys. Custodianship. <laughs> what are we going to make our money? Custodianship. What are we waiting for these rich boys? What are the rich boys waiting for to bring us their money? Custodianship, boys. Custodianship. That's what we need. We need custody services so that these rich people feel safe and they bring us all their cash. Oh, and come and buy our crypto warehouses full of cash full of crypto now i'm not going to get into it i know i know i'm not going to get into it like yesterday i was really wasted yesterday so i got into it but we're, we're gonna we're gonna swing through fast i'll let you get back to your wives and stuff <laughs> and children forthwith so let's go custody service address the growing interest from institutional <laughs> growing interest from what from what okay I, i'm just gonna highlight one more time i'm not gonna get into it but you know what we need. We don't need fucking little Johnny at his little job buying, you know, one ripple. We need what? Institutional clients. Institutional clients bringing what? Billions of dollars. Billions and billions and billions. Right? And we've covered the story in today's Bitcoin in brief. Also in the daily, billionaire Mike Novogratz. Uh, expects an influx. Uh, now we're going to listen to this institutional investor guy. Uh, 
an influx of institutional investors in the crypto space and a new uh, blah, 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 blah. So we're going to go on from there. So let's go from here, okay? So responding to increasing interest in cryptocurrency from high net worth and institutional clients, a Hong Kong-based company is planning to launch a crypto custody service by the end of the year. Oh, boys. You know I love the word. <laughs> You don't even know the power of it. The power of it. Okay? Custodianship. Custodianship. Like I told you yesterday, I'm going to tattoo the word custodianship on my wife's forehead. I will never divorce that lady. Whoever she is out there, one day if I get one, well, not get one, but take one, bang. I'm going to put custodianship right on her fucking forehead. Oh, my God. It's our favorite word, boys. What do they need? What are the whales waiting for? What are they waiting for? They have money. They're all there with their checkbooks right now. Man, they've got checks filled out with numbers. They just want to know, whose name do I sign for this check? You know what they need, though? What do they need? Bang. What do we know about custodianship? And what do we have about here? Bang. Custody service. You know about Hong Kong, right? You do know that it's a financial hub of the world. All those millionaires and billionaires. Oh, my goodness, boys. <laughs> They're about to unleash. They're waiting to unleash. We talked about it. They're the ones telling the politicians, hurry up and get us our stuff so we can get in there and buy crypto from Shamari. <laughs> so, yes, boys, I'm waiting for you. Oh, I am waiting for you. I hear you. I see you. Look, 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 look. See what I'm saying? Right like this? Bang. We're looking at them. I had them on my phone right here. Bang, I got I got Ching Chuan Chi from Hong Kong. He's like, Shamari, I want your crypto. I'm like, Yo, brother, I see you coming. I see you. But I have to wait for custody. That's all right. That's all right. I got time. I see you, brother. I see you out there wanting my crypto. <laughs> yeah. I'm an, in fact, I'm building it for you. I'm building, I'm building my warehouse for you right now. Don't worry, brother. When you get here, oh, I'm going to have all you need. I'm going to have all you need, right? And what did we read about yesterday? The Indians. Yo, I got Pradesh Patel. Boom. Shamari, you have crypto? Yes, I have crypto. I'm coming, my friend. I'm waiting for the government to give me custody. No problem, brother. Brother, 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 I got you. I got you. Yo, I got a big warehouse. You got to come quick. I got the Chinese coming. <laughs> but but you get here? I got goods for you, brother. I got Bitcoins. I got Ethereums. I got Trons. I got Iotas. I got Ripples. I got I got it all, brother. I got it all for you. Come on through. So that's what we're doing, guys. That's what we're doing. Bang. What did they say? They want to launch a cryptocurrency custody service. Boom. By the end of this year. Fusang Investment Office is an asset manager focused on Asian private family offices. Uh, Asian private family offices. Uh, a family office is, you know, um, you know, like so here in, in America, we have, uh, so Connecticut, a lot of rich people in Connecticut. So they just open their own funds, right? Like that's how rich they are. It, it's called a family office. It's not a fucking family office. It's one family with a bunch of billions and then they just open their own thing, right? But that's what they mean by the word family office. It's not like, you know, some little old poor ass lady <laughs> opening an office. They're rich. They're super rich. All right. And so it's Fu Sang Vault is expected to open for customers. Bang. In the fourth quarter. Now. So you, do you understand? Do you understand what we just read? Fu Sang is about to open their custody service in the fourth quarter. Now. What do we know about, about Coinbase here in America? Excuse me. They opened their, remember their custody? Remember how they tricked us? They said they were just applying, and then they came out a few weeks ago, and they were like, oh, oh no, just kidding. We already have custody. You see, that's why, that's why we're seeing the green. So you have to buy your crypto now. Buy your crypto now. You don't want to be priced out. You know what priced out means? When that money comes here, boom, 
All this stuff is going to go. Look, 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 look. Guys, you're going to be rich. I already told you. We did the math yesterday. I'm not going to do it again for you today. Fucking go back to tomorrow's, uh, or not tomorrow's, yesterday's, uh, uh, what do you call it, video, and you'll see that. You're going to be rich. You have to have your crypto now. Once that money comes in, they're going to drive the prices up. I mean, that's the whole point, right? That's the whole point is we're going to sell it to them when they drive our price up and we're going to be rich. But in order to get your money that you want, you have to buy now while stuff is cheap, okay? So I'm not telling you what to do with your money. I'm not telling you which coins to buy. That's up to you, buddy. You're going to have to figure that out yourself, figure out the projects. Uh, but you know what? Oh, hold on. Fuck this. I will give you a little advice. If a cryptocurrency is down with a major corporation, right? Major corporation and major corporation, they're partnered with major corporations or major governments. Those are the ones you want to buy. Because when Wall Street gets here, that's what they're going to buy. They're not going to fuck around with bullshit because it's a, some sort of, oh, it's a nice idea. I, I, I'm going to tell you something. I'm not going to tell you what to buy or not, but say, for instance, like Monero. Well, it's a privacy coin. Do you think fucking Wall Street gives a shit about a privacy coin? They give a shit about how is this coin going to make money? Okay? Now, I'm not telling you what to buy, but I'm going to give you an example. IOTA. IOTA is with Volkswagen. It's with the United Motherfucking Nations. It's with Dubai. Dubai is going to build a whole city using IOTA right? And IOTA is with IBM. IBM. Now, I'm not telling you to buy it. I'm just giving you my opinion. But do you see the level motherfuckers that I'm talking about? Guys, do you see? Buy stuff like that. What do you think Wall Street's going to do? Those Wall Street guys, yeah, the, 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 the CEO of IBM, these guys went to school with him, right? They're all like Harvard guys, Princeton guys, Yale guys. They're going to call the guy and be like, yo, is that IOTA thing real? He's going to be like, yo, John, you better get in because <laughs> it's real. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not telling you to buy IOTA, but I'm just giving you an example. It's my own opinion, but come on. You know, you so use your brains, guys. Use your brains. And because, bang, we've got whales coming. High net worth individuals coming and uh, it, it's right here. These guys said they're going to be ready by the fourth, the fourth quarter of 2018. That's a couple months. And we already know Coinbase is open now. That's probably why it's green right now, because the whales are already pouring in through Coinbase, right? Coinbase was like opening a, you know, like opening a crack in a dam. Like psh, the water just starts spewing out, right? So all the money is coming to get our crypto, guys. And so get on it, get on it. And here's another one. So here it is. Bang. Novogratz expects a herd of institutional investors in crypto. <laughs> Let's read about this guy. Prominent hedge fund manager Michael Novogratz expects more financial institutions coming into the crypto space. Uh, what does he say? A herd of investors is headed toward cryptocurrencies. Novogratz said in a speech during the Blockchain Week Korea last week. In an interview with the Wall uh, sorry, <laughs> the Street, he added, I think institutional investors are slowly coming to the realization that blockchain will be Internet or Web 3.0, and they'll want to participate just like they want to participate in the Web. Remember I told you, guys, I'm 44 years old. I know I look young. I'm not. I'm 44 years old. I was alive during the dot-com bubble. When the duck, all Microsoft, all this shit that you little kids know about now. Yeah, I was alive when they just began. Dude, it was a frenzy. It was a frenzy. It was a dot-com bubble under Bill Clinton. A dot-com bubble. I mean, I was too young. I was just a kid, so I didn't have money. All my dad, all my uncles, all those guys, they were making shit tons of money. I mean, we would be, we'd be sitting out in the backyard, dad's grilling steaks, all them high-fiving each other. I told you this story before. You know, we would joke. Our parents, they didn't even know what they were buying. <laughs> like, 
you know, I'm a, a Microsoft certified. I have an MCP, my Microsoft certified professional. We knew what, what, what routers and stuff were. <laughs> Our parents, they didn't even know. But my dad and all them, they were making all this money, so we'd, we'd make fun of them. We'd go up and be like, so dad, what's a router? He'd be like, oh, I don't know, Cisco makes them, blah, blah, blah. You know, like he wouldn't even know. But that's the level, and that's the level that's about to come to the blockchain world. People, what you have now, people are just gonna buy, there's gonna be so much money in it. Cause it's the new internet, internet 3.0 right that's what they're calling it right unhackable on this on that you know it's the new decentralized blah 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 and and it is i mean i'm not saying blah 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 to be dismissive i'm uh so i'm not being dismissive but that's the new level and if you were alive if you're my age or or anything near it you saw the dot-com bubble that's what we're about to hit once regular people know about crypto right the average person it's going to be in their 401ks. It's going to, it, it, they're just going to invest, right? Because it's the new stuff. And so, guys, like I said, like I showed you yesterday, the market cap of, of all crypto, it's only $300 billion. Yeah, face, uh, Facebook is fucking $600 billion <laughs> itself. You don't think there's going to be a $600 billion company out of any of this crypto? Come on, boys. Come on. Internet 3.0, you're about to be rich now. Let's get to our next story. Boom. So this one here, this was, uh, I think, Evans, either Evans or Edwin, someone said about the G20. Well, here you go. I'm going to report on it right now. G20 crypto regulation decisions boost Bitcoin to two-month high. Well, whatever. Uh, Bitcoin has hit a two-month high. At seven thousand eight hundred and twenty dollars, and actually, we looked at it right now. Boom! What is it? Let's look at Bitcoin right now. It is at oh my gosh! It just keeps going up. Eight thousand three hundred. Eight thousand three hundred. <laughs> why are you sound so sad? You know why. But anyway, let's go. So it's at eight thousand three hundred. I guess when this guy wrote it, it was at seven eight twenty. At the time of writing, amidst its ongoing resurgence following a meeting of G20 finance ministers in Buenos Aires on the 21st and 22nd of July, 2018. At the meeting, ministers discussed cryptocurrency and issued a, a communique um, starting, stating that while it remains under scrutiny, it does not pose a threat to the global finance order, financial order. Uh, Bitcoin suffered a bruising bear run in June, 2018, Sorry, which saw it uh, dip below the psychologically important 6,000 uh, mark to 5,900. Since then, however, the world's largest cryptocurrency has, has found new breadth, um, gaining nearly $2,000 or 30% in just over three weeks. Previously, Bitcoin price growth was an almost exact proxy for cryptocurrency market performance. Um, this time around, though, however, Bitcoin's performance is not reflected in the crypto market. While Bitcoin grew more than 3% three, uh, 3 over the past 24 hours, its closest growth uh, challenger, Bitcoin Cash, only managed to grow about 2.4% over the same period. So, do you see what I'm saying, guys? Look, that's big money coming in. You know me. You know me. I've said it a hundred times. What the fuck? A bunch of amateurs. You know I'm a trader. Go to forexfactory.com. Type in my name, S-H-O-M-A-R-I. And you'll see my trades, my older trades. You'll see my philosophy, all that stuff. My whole profile. What have I been saying about this shit? I'd love to trade this cryptocurrency. I'm, an, I'm a badass trader. I make money. I'm a market assassin. I would love to trade this stuff. Why don't I trade it? Bitcoin goes down. Everything goes down. Bitcoin goes up. Everything fucking goes up. It's not real because it's a bunch of amateurs trading, right? Now, though, now we have the real boys coming into the market, right? And that's why you see Bitcoin goes up, but not everything went up yesterday. Remember yesterday's market analysis we looked at? Yep. Bitcoin went up. Not everything. Because now they're starting to evaluate each and individual cryptocurrency 
on its own merit. So in other words, professional investors are coming in, investing properly, investing properly based on each cryptocurrency's own merit. You know what what they do. Fucking Bitcoin goes up, everything goes up. What the fuck is that? That's not real. That's not how markets are supposed to work, right? And so we've had a bunch of amateurs. Now the pros are coming in, boys. And we're going to get into that. Oh, we're going to get into that stuff. That's later on down the road once they really get here, though. For now, we're just buying and holding. But I might just start trading up in this motherfucker once they get the markets moving right. Oh, I'm not. Actually, it's not a might. I am going to, but I have to wait. These fuckers are morons. So anyways, yeah, guys. So <clears throat> boom, G20 rocking. Oh, wait. Was there more? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sorry. All right. So over the past weekend, finance ministers from the world's 20th largest economies met in the Argentinian capital to hold discussions at the G20 summit. Cryptocurrency was one of the main topics under consideration. Bang. Remember I told you yesterday, there's going to be a global or whenever I wrote in the comments, there's going to be a global you know, just like how we have now, right? Like oil is a globally, you know what I mean? They've all decided, all right, it's priced in dollars and blah, 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 it goes like that. So the global, the whole world, globalization, boys. Listen, listen, I want you to buy the book, okay? I want you to get this book. It's called One World, Ready or Not. I told you about it before. And Edwin, Edwin, you said you were reading it. Bang, buddy. We haven't talked about that. All of you need to read that book. One world, ready or not, it's going to teach you about global finance. Uh, not finance, but global economics, but finance is part of it. But yeah, all right, that's what you got to read so you get a gist of what the hell's happening. This is global, right? Cryptocurrency is global. It's not just the American stock market. Like when you buy stocks, you're just buying one country's company's stocks, right? So you buy NASDAQ, all right, you, those are just American company right Blech. whatever you go to the FTSE you go to the uh what do they got what do they got uh shit <laughs> I can't remember some of these names right but you go to those stock exchanges you're buying the stocks of those countries you're in the crypto world now boys you're in my world sort of like the forex world we're global I trade whole countries right your your dollar I trade your country's money right well you're in cryptocurrency Cryptocurrency is global. These blockchains are going to be everywhere. Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know, like Ripple is going to have, you know, their shit in banks, you know, all over the world, right? It's not just, you know, China or India or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's global. So you're in a global market. Read that book, One More Ready Not, to get your mind right about globalization. That's the world you live in now. And it'll help you about this crypto stuff. I mean, it'll help you about actually the real, 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 real world, traditional world. But it, once you understand that stuff, when this crypto, when you think about crypto, you're going to be like, oh, okay, I get it. Right? Like all this crypto stuff, all these cryptocurrencies are buying. You're not buying a currency. You're basically buying a stock in what's called a blockchain services company. That's what you're buying. Right? When you buy a Ripple, you're buying a stock in ripples blah 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 and that's why they're going through that lawsuit right because ripples trying to say no 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 ripples on a stock and you know we're not stupid you idiot it is a stock all of these are right bitcoin ethereum litecoin yes those are commodities because there's no company right there's no bitcoin headquarters right there's no ethereum headquarters there's no employees right they're just a bunch of people who just love it and just are just making it for us, right? But there's no headquarters. But Monero, Cardano, Ripple, IOTA. Yeah, they're companies. Let's get real about it. Okay, let's stop bullshitting, you know? And that's how you guys have to look at them. You're buying stocks. Bottom line, you are buying stocks. They can call it cryptocurrency. They can call it dog shit, whatever. It's a stock. In a cryptocurrency blockchain services company that's what you're buying 
And you have to think about when Wall Street gets here, what do Wall Street guys think of? Okay? <laughs> Is this fucking company going to make money or not? That's it. They don't give a fuck about your philosophy, your fucking libertarian, blah, blah, blah. It's going to take over fiat or, or you know. Oh, they, you know, we're going to free people of, you know, the government. Are, look, look, when they get here, they're not going to look at that. They're going to look at who the fuck's making cash, right? Straight up. What's your blockchain doing? Are you partnered with some major co corporations? Are you partnered with some major government? That's it. And how much money are you going to make? That's all they are going to care about. So that's the stuff you have to invest in. Okay, I know you have some of you out there, you believe in all this in your hearts and all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. Look, Oh, this blockchain is going to save the world this way and that way. Look, Wall Street's not going to give two fucks about all that. <laughs> They're going to give a shit about, are you partnered with some major corporations? Or are you partnered with some major governments? And is your blockchain going to make some bread? Right? So... That's that, guys. That's the G20. That's <laughs> I went off on a little tangent right there, didn't I? Sorry. but Because I, I want you to get your shit right. You see the money's coming. It's coming faster than we thought. So you have to get your stuff right now. right? You have to get your crypto warehouse built now. All the money you can spare. Get it built now. Because when they come here, those savages, oh, they're going to buy every penny of what you have. You are going to be rich. You're not going to be left with, unless you're buying some bullshit coins, believe me, you're not going to have one scrap left on your shelves when you sell to these people. They're coming and they're going to buy it all. Build it right. Get the brand names. Get it up. Get it up now. All right? All right. So now let's talk about how you can make money, boom, in another way. Bang. Meet the honey miner. <laughs> Look at the, the title. Meet Honey Miner. The app lets you earn Bitcoin with a laptop again. Remember back in the days you could just have a laptop and a shitty little computer and you'd earn Bitcoin? Well, looks like these boys are bringing back those days. So let's go into it. And this is cool shit. Like, you only earn like $2 a day or whatever. But, like, look, if you're like me, I've got old laptops here. I've got old computers, uh, desktop computers. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to get this app, and I'm just going to leave that shit running. I'm just going to leave the app running on that computer and done. You know what I mean? Just I'm not even going to think about it. You know what I mean? And the money gets deposited right to a, uh, um, a wallet for you, so you get your money. So let me tell you. So let's read. Now, new mining, new mining, pro, uh, sorry, new mining software promises to let almost anyone, even small amounts of Bitcoin, sorry, earn even small amounts of Bitcoin with a Windows laptop, giving users a taste of the cryptocurrency's early days. Remember back in the days, you just you just had a little shitty little desktop and you could mine Bitcoin, right? Now they have the big warehouses full of them and blah, 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 blah. But these guys, are, they came up with a solution. You can earn Bitcoin and Litecoins and different stuff now on your laptop. So, revealed exclusive to Coindesk. The New Jersey-based crypto mining startup Honey Miner quietly launched a free beta in June and has already garnered 10,000 downloads. So go download your beta. Go download your beta version of this from Honey Miner. Uh, they, they've already garnered 10,000 downloads across the globe. Honey Miner allows users to participate in a dynamic mining pool by running the app when the computer's graphics processor unit GPU uh, isn't in use processing images or videos. And that's what I'm saying. So you can't be online and be mining, right? So if you got an old laptop, you got an old computer, pff, slap that on there, slap that app on there and just leave it running 24 seven. Just forget about it, right? Come back in a year and see what happens. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, the pool focuses on mining cryptos like Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Zcash, Monero, and other GPU-friendly currencies. Then, at the end of the session, Honeyminer sends the participants' earnings 
convert it into Bitcoin directly to the user's wallet, directly to your wallet, buddy. So just leave your computer going. Fuck all that. Just leave that shit, right? If you have a, a, a spare one around and, you know, they're just going to ship you. They're just going to give you your Bitcoins. Well, you know, probably be a portion of a Bitcoin, but you know what I mean? You're still going to, you know what I mean? And remember, Bitcoin goes up in value. And as these whales get here, well, we know it's going to go up in value. So even those little pieces of Bitcoin are going to be worth a lot, right? So the miner doesn't have to, so here it is. This is what the guy says. The miner doesn't have to do the math or manage all the configurations and settings or manually check the prices. Honey miner advisor, Noah Jessup, uh, a venture capitalist at, at, at Collective in San, founder Collective in San Francisco said, he added, we make it so that any surplus, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Anyways though, I think what he's trying to say, we make it so that any surplus computer, so any laptop you aren't using, all the way up to a rig that you run is automatically doing the most profitable computation. So what they do is they look at, I think there's about five currencies and they look which, which one will get you the, um, the, uh, the quickest um, coins and then they will transfer you to mine that coin automatic. Um, you don't have to do anything. Uh, this type of service offers new opportunities for people who want to acquire Bitcoin but have little money to invest or limited access to cryptocurrency exchanges. So, like I said, you don't want to blow your money on Bitcoin. Not blow. It's not a blow. You're going to make money, but you don't want to spend it. Set this rig running. Let this rig run for you. And then the money that you do want to spend on crypto, bang, you can buy your other coins. Why are you getting your why are you getting your Bitcoin uh, mined? Well, while you're mining Bitcoin. Um, it could also broaden the range of participants of cryptocurrency mining, which over the years has had its barriers to entry rise as expensive specialized hardware gave large professional operations and edge over hobbyists, right? Remember back in the days, you just do it on your computer. Now it's literally guys just have warehouses of mining equipment. Honey, my, honey miners algorithm automatically switches between cryptocurrencies every 10 minutes or so, depending on block size, if there's a sudden change in the currency's mining profitability. Uh, I'm gonna read on. I didn't highlight this, but actually this is good news. Um, we're pooling people together to find those block rewards faster. Together, we have a larger hash rate, uh, the co-founder Larry Com said. Not only do we connect you to the blockchain and animize you through us, but you also are contributing to what is, in essence, a pool. So you download this, you're going to be part of a pool, and but with all all our all our computing power behind us it makes you just as powerful as uh you know the guy who has a warehouse of you know gpus and uh mining equipment so uh if you hear about crypto and you want to learn you can either go out and pay real cash money jessup said or you can download a program in 30 seconds and start earning your own crypto for free. So, bang, bang, anyone out there, any of you guys out there, I know I talked to you, Evans, bang, Bob, bang. You wanna earn some crypto for free? Get a little crappy little laptop, set that up, and uh, you know what? It, in this article, it does say that you make about one or two dollars a day that's enough to pay your internet access. So boom, now you're internet free just from having some crappy little secondhand laptop doing your stuff. So for better or worse, the Honey Miner team recognizes it will need to offer additional features for different types of users. For newbies, uh, sorry, for newbie retail investors, Honey Miner will soon allow them to send their Bitcoin to wallets on third-party platforms like Coinbase. So. Uh, 
your your computer will be mining for you it'll automatically send your your bitcoins to coinbase for you <laughs> yo custodianship bang all right um plus the apps algorithm can also help miners with professional mining rigs as well so i mean if you're looking at me and you're a professional miner bang yo, they're gonna hook you guys up all that stuff about the TX this and the RX that. And, 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 oh. Anyway, you're going to get all of it. So whether they're cheap laptops or pro rigs, each computer will get a different task based on its particular configuration or performance or capabilities. You'll get assigned what is most profitable for it. So they're going to see what your configuration of your machine is and if Monero is easier to uh, mine, you'll be mining Monero. If you got something good enough to mine Bitcoin, you'll mine Bitcoin. Um, a specialized version called Honey Miner Pro is in the works for professional miners. So here you go, professional miners. If there's any professional miners listening to this, bang, this is for you. Who need help with power consumption management and options for manually choosing which cryptos to mine. So they're not restricted to whatever, uh, whatever's most profitable or which coins to cash out in in case they don't want Bitcoin. So you can choose whatever coin you want. Speaking to the lack of user-friendly tools for both novice and experienced miners, Com said, I would say there's not a clear competitor for us, which is why we built what we built. <laughs> in other words, yeah, no one's doing this, so we're doing it. And they're going to make money. So, guys, we had a good show. Um, so, what did we talk about? We talked about, bang, the herd. The herd <laughs> of institutional investors coming. We already know about uh, the blood clot, right? Uh, what did we talk about? We already know about this. Boom. And G20. At about, I don't remember which one of one which one of you talked to me about it, but there's your G20 news, buddy. I'm all over it. I'm all over it. I am all over it. G20 news. And then finally, guys, here's how to make a little extra bed. We're doing airdrops. Look, look, why sleep? Personally, I have this little shitty little desktop out there. So I'm going to buy a little monitor for it tomorrow. Actually, I'll probably just order some secondhand piece of crap one. You know, I don't need it for, you know, I'm not trying to use it. But I'm going to order a little, I'm going to order a little uh, monitor for that desktop. And then I have a laptop over here. I'm going to, I'm going to put those two running and I'm going to buy this. Well, not buy it. It said it for free, right? So I'm going to rock some honey miner and I'm just going to have two systems just mining for me. Yo, we're getting it everywhere we can. Look, look, if you're new around these parts, you have to understand what me and my boys do around these parts. We don't play games. At a Bob, J. Will. Justin Edwins, Ronkas, we don't fuck around around these parts. Boom. Uh, homeboy 4820, 420, 10 or something. We don't play games. Now, <laughs> I got to do it. What we do, we hard fork. Oh, but what we really do, we're waiting for these whales. Bang. There's a lot of whales coming. If you don't know about it, you better get back and watch some earlier shows. And what we do is he, woohoo, sprinkles of airdrops. From Adam Bob, the crew. And uh, so we're active investors around here in this channel. We don't fuck around. And so now, bang, Honey Miner. All you boys get some Honey Miner action going. Oh, well, you know what you do while you're at work? While you're at work. <laughs> oh, true. Have your laptop just Honey Mining. <laughs> just have it Honey Mining. I mean, you go to work, you know, bang. Just have it Honey Mining for you come home from work it's only a couple bucks but every day every day it adds up boys it adds up so bang let's go <clears throat> look at this boom that's how we roll but bang oh look at this son of a bitch right here oh bob this guy all right so what's he doing now oh so i know i know i know i know i didn't do the airdrops last night i told you guys this weekend look you know where i live so if you're new around here my name is shamari I live in South Beach. So I had a little party this weekend, guys. You know, I had a little party this weekend. And, uh, whew, you know, we party here. 
It's real. And so I'm still in recovery. I thought I'd be good by today. I'm still in recovery mode, so I haven't caught up with you guys, but I'm going to catch up. So what's he doing? Hold on. Let's do some shout-outs and stuff. Atta Bob's rocking what? Nature X official. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to get that. Justin and four others liked my tweet. Bang. Those are the boys. J. Will. Oh, oh. Shut up, wife. Oh, oh. And, that, and, and that's what you have to learn around here. Look, look. If you're new around here, look. We're not playing games. Me and my crew, we're not playing games around here. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to make shit tons of money. This is your once-in-a-lifetime chance. All right, if you're new. And me and my boys, we're not letting anything get in the way of our bread. And so around these parts, our spiritual master, our spiritual leader, his name's Justin Williams, and he gave us the words. Eight words. A simple eight words. Oh, but they mean so much. They mean so much. Shut up, wife. I'm about that whole life. Bang. You know what I'm saying? Bang. That's how we roll around these parts. Look, look. That's how we roll around. The, that's how me and my boys roll. We're making bread. We're hard forking. We're air dropping. Oh, and we are whale watching. And now, if you guys are smart, and I want you all, all, all boys, bang, get to some honey mining. <laughs> now we're honey mining. I'm honey mining. By tomorrow, sh sh my shit's going to be honey mining around these parts. Right? I got my little, I got my little, uh, my little uh, router over here. Boom. I'm going to set up my desktop, and I got this little old laptop. And I'm going to make them honey mine. Bang. So that's how it rolls around here, guys. If you're new around here, that's how we do. That's how me and my crew roll. We don't, you know, we don't, we don't you know. You're not here to listen to me talk. You're here to fucking make cash. All right? Uh, any way you can. And so you got to hook up with, like I told you, bang, Bob, 84411320 on Twitter. That's my that's my that's my ministry of airdrops here in, in cryptocurrency blockchain newsland. And now, see you have more work to do. See how late you are? Now you have more work. You got to download Honey Miner. We're gonna be Honey Miner around these parts. <laughs> oh boys! All right, guys. But but boys though, now let me talk to you boys. Guys, Honey Mining. I'm gonna rock. Get ready to rock. I mean, not ready. Do it. Do it. Do it. Honey Mine. You know I'm gonna have the uh, the um, what do you call it? the link for this? So bang, that's how we're gonna do around these parts. All right, so all right, so what are we talking about now? Are we done? Oh, we're done. Okay, that was three stories. Yes. Oh, and those are the good ones and the money one. Bang. So guys, honey miner, we're gonna rock that. And if you're new here. Look, look, I gave you Adabob stuff. Oh, oh, that's what we were doing. Yes, we were doing. Oh, yeah, we were in airdrop mode. <laughs> that's right. Airdrops and shout outs. Yo. So, obviously, you guys know how Bob is. He's ruthless on us. <laughs> he makes us, you know, slaps you in the face. Right, right, right. I wake up and get a slap in the face. Like, Shamari, go get that. Like, fuck, Bob. Man, jeez. Give me a minute. Let me have a coffee, motherfucker. All right. So hold on. <laughs> hold on. So let's use some shout out. Oh, Justin Williams. Justin Williams. So that's the boy. Shut up, wife, from my whole life. Eight words. Says it all. Says it all. All right. That's the spirit you have to have around these parts. Boom. Oh, what is he doing now? Oh, and look at he. He hold life to us with a what? Oh, I don't know. I guess he just retweeted something. All right. All right. Boom and Bob. Yo, yo, Mikel. Van Brien. Blam. I'm getting that name right. Take a stand. Bang against poverty. Ronkas. Boom. Fundamentalist. He knows. He knows. <laughs> What's Bob rocking again? More? Man, I really have to get caught up. Scorpio Protocol. 
So I'm going to get caught up, guys. I'm going to get caught up. I'm going to get caught up today for real, real. I know I said that yesterday, but man, guys, I was thrashed. I was thrashed <laughs> this weekend. I was naughty. I was a little naughty. <laughs> yeah, Shamari never dies, but woo, he takes a beating. Takes a beating. Bang, who's this fucker? Oh, that's the guy. Airdrop 2410. Boom. See you, brother. Boom. Welcome. Oh, and you did. And you did actually get in the comments. See, that's what I'm talking about. Just get in here. We're a friendly bunch, folk. Look, all my boys, we're a friendly bunch. Bob, J. Will, they'll talk. Edwin, Evans, me, Ronkis. Yo, hey, come on in. Guys, we'll chat. We're a friendly bunch of boys. <laughs> we're just waiting for our loot. You know what I mean? While we're waiting, we'll chat. Bang. So let me get on my binoculars here. Let me take a last look <laughs> while we wrap up the show. Oh, boys. Oh, shit, yeah. I'm whale watching. Oh, man. Shit's looking good, boys. Shit's looking really good. So, anyone else? Damien. Tuzisla. Bang. Got you, brother. Oh, and look at him. Oh, those were from yesterday. Fucking Bob. <laughs> He's murdering. You see, and now, you see, that's what's fucked up. I'm behind, so now, I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to probably have a little nap. But then after this, tonight, I'm going to be rocking. So, guys, so, boom, let me shut the fuck up. Get you out of here. It's been good. Oh, let's shill this shit. Right, right, we got to shill. Bang. Subscribe to our video. You want to make bread or what? You, you into bread? Well, that's what me and my boys are in new bread. So subscribe right here. Press the little, there's like a bell or something you're supposed to press. Bang. You're going to get automatic updates. You're going to get automatic updates on our, on our, on our, on these videos. And I told you, go to Bob. 844-11320 on Twitter. <laughs> He's going to square you away. And now you're part of the cryptocurrency blockchain crew. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. And here in this family, oh, wow, we're waiting for whales. And we're going to be rich. So subscribe below. Uh, press the button. And we'll see you later. As always, I love doing this for you guys. This is my favorite part of my day every day. I love you guys. So, boom. This is Shamari Clark. Bang. Over and out.